Tell us about Window or Microsoft Geneva. What is it? Sure. Microsoft Geneva is uh, our open platform for uh, simplifying uh, identity and access uh, control tasks. Simplifying this for uh, pretty much everybody, developers, IT pros, and end users. Okay. It's a, a collective term. Should I look at the camera? Yeah. Which uh, <laughs> is a collective term which indicates mainly three products. Uh, one is the server, Geneva Server, which is uh, the uh, successor of ADFS. Uh, substantially, is a uh, an enhancement of Active Directory, which uh, allow you to reuse your investment in Active Directory and uh, have uh, the identity of your user to travel okay. outside of your boundaries using open standards such as uh, AWS Trust, AWS Federation, and even the SAML protocol, which is new with Geneva. And uh, it allows you basically to manage uh, federation relationships at point and click, and uh, that's mainly our IT growth. Then we have Geneva Framework, which uh, happens to be the developer framework that was used for writing Geneva Server, so okay. we main business here. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, designed for uh, helping .NET developers for uh, enhance existing applications or write new applications whose behavior is driven by identity information. Okay. So, uh, Everything in our uh, identity strategy, so not just uh, Geneva, but the entire company, is based on the idea of claim, which is a statement from one entity about another entity. Uh, what the Geneva framework does is uh, allow your application to consume claims very, very easily. And uh, uh, an existing application can be very easily updated to use this model, and new applications can be written like this. And you can also write uh, uh, custom security token services, which are again an extremely important for component of the entire platform. And the last component of Geneva is uh, uh, Windows Cards based Geneva, which is the second generation uh, version of our uh, identity selector. It's basically, uh, it's long to explain, but uh, let's say that uh, it's a piece of software that helps uh, the user navigate through access control decisions. And uh, the new version uh, is a complete rewrite uh, in, uh, managed, in unmanaged code. So okay. it's fast. Uh, almost everything takes less than one second. And also, the, uh, we took a lot of uh, feedback about the usability. And so the, it's a new streamlined experience, very easy to use, uh, uh, very agile. So that's basically it. OK. Uh, so how does this compare with uh, stuff like Live ID and, and the Open ID uh, uh, stuff? Does this integrate with that okay. as well? So it definitely integrates with Live ID. Live ID is a sort of a very general term. Let's say that in Live ID we have uh, many different things. Okay. Uh, Live ID basically is uh, our, let's say, an identity provider for uh, the masses, in which we have uh, over 400 million users, and uh, we manage the authentication for them. Uh, Live ID is also uh, managing domains, where uh, if uh, in your company you want to uh, uh, outsource authentication to Live ID, you can also, as you say, have your own domain, have your own custom experience, so it's like it's yours, but you get all your headache away. And when you do these kind of things, uh, you can actually use a card space as a way of um, authenticating to your uh, Live ID. So for example, you have your own Live ID, you hit the website and you want to authenticate, instead of using the password, you can actually use a personal card. Okay. That's one point of integration. Another point of integration is more on the server side. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we announced the uh, Microsoft Federation Gateway which is a, a federated endpoint that you can use uh, when you want to do uh, user offerings uh, such as uh, CRM online or Exchange online. And uh, you can actually do this uh, from your Active Directory okay. without the need of having a live ID. Right. And uh, this is actually a WS Federation endpoint which integrates perfectly with Geneva. If you have a live ID, you can actually use this live ID through the Federation Gateway for obtaining a SAML token, which then can be consumed by an application that is being written in uh, Geneva Framework. Okay. Sounds complicated, but it's actually very straightforward. Okay, great. So, and uh, OpenID. All oh, right. So OpenID is, an, uh, how do you say, just another uh, authentication protocol. And uh, as a company, we are definitely exploring it, both from the consuming and from the producing side. 
couple of weeks ago we made this announcement about uh, live becoming uh, an uh, open ID provider. So basically our uh, 400 million uh, users will now be able to sign in to any website that accepts open IDs. In terms of accepting open IDs, I don't know if you've ever heard about our Health Vault initiative. Health Vault is a service that Microsoft offers for uh, keeping, uh, let's say, in the sky uh, information about your health. And uh, among the various systems that we uh, allow for our uh, users to authenticate with Health Vault, we have open ID. So uh, the Health Vault team chose a couple of uh, OpenID providers which give uh, especially high uh, guarantees for uh, the authentication level that they use uh, with their OpenID users. And then you can just use your OpenID on a Microsoft property. And that's basically a pilot. We are uh, checking how it goes and uh, we'll see. Okay, great. Well, thanks. Thanks.